both these teams are heading into the AUS tournament with their sights set on winning it all. And what are you expecting to see from these two here on the court here today, Alan? Well, Cam, it's the Battle of Halifax round four. Fourth meeting between these two teams on the season. And the Dow Tigers ranked 10th in the country. They have had some problems against this St. Mary's team. St. Mary's has won uh, three games compared to one for Dow in the four games so far, including an exhibition matchup. Should be a great game today. We'll get into it as we go. As first Stamberger 4-3, that one's not quite going to go. Huskies coming back the other way. Yeah, Stamberger's really come on strong as of late, averaging 14.3 points per game, shooting 41% from three, and such a versatile player, able to attack the glass better than ever before this season. Luol with a deep two, that one's not going to fall. And he's a big man, but he does love that shot. That's his shot, one, one foot inside the three-point arc, and he knocks that down about 75% of the time. And the other thing that does against a team like Dal, it pulls Ryle Stroud out from the rim protection down underneath. Oh, him. Richie's going to unload 4-3. Richie Kanzamata from downtown gets the Tigers on the board. Well, fans might know Kanzamata is the all-time leader in AUS assists, set that record a couple weeks ago. But more so than ever before, he's looking for his own shot. And when it gets low in the shot clock, Kanzamata is not afraid to put it up on the season shooting right around 36% from beyond the arc. And we had, was commenting on the last game that I did, he changed his shoes, so we had to switch up his nickname. It's the Under Armour contract. The red shoes were Adidas, now Dow's got new unis, and they've got new shoes. Everybody's wearing Under Armour shoes. Some Steph Curry's out there, but uh, yeah, no more red shoe assassin. Oh, Kanzamata from the same spot! Knocking it down for three. <laughs> and he's telling the fans, shush, as obviously the Battle of Halvax. You know, Cam, it's reading week for both these schools, yet the gym is packed. Probably 400 fans here. And anytime these two teams get together, it's always a good one. I've got an incredible stat, and I'll get into it right now if you want. Over, the, over the past two years, these two teams have played against each other 11 times. That includes AUS championship play. That includes exhibition play, shoveler tournament. Of those 11 games, SMU has won 6, Dal has won 5, but that's not the crazy part. SMU has scored 811 points, Dal has scored 808. That's three points separating 11 games between these two teams. Jared Reed, 4-3, he's not going to get that to go. I know two weekends, or last, last weekend? Two weekends ago, they had last weekend off. Two weekends ago, Jared Reed went off on a Friday night, 6-8, of 4-3 against the UMB Varsity Reds. Yeah, Big steal there from Kansamata. And it's Reed up the other way, and he's able to get it to go past the arm of the wall. Great start here for the Tigers, and that's Jared Reed. He can put up points in bunches. A lot of attention is paid, obviously, to their bigger scorers, their Lawrence and Kanzamata and Stamberger. But really, Jared Reed has been a key player for the Tigers the past five years, and he's just an ultimate winner. And speaking of guys who can fill it up on any given game, it's Cash with a strong take. He's going to go to the line for two. Kamara Eileen knocking down the jumper for the Huskies at the other end. Yeah, you mentioned Eileen. He's a player who, you know, the, the top three scorers for the Huskies, it's their backcourt of Clayton, Rose, and Reefer. And all three are graduating this year, and they've got a high hopes for Kamara Eileen going forward. Highly recruited player in his third year now, was an AUS All-Rookie Team member. And he's having a pretty nice season, over eight points, three and a half rebounds, two and a half assists per game. Cash knocks down both free throws, and hopefully I don't bring in announcers, the classic announcers jinx with this, but Cash has really started to turn it on from the free throw line here the last few weeks. I've noticed that as well. Uh, right around the Christmas break, he was at 50% from the arc as Leon Reefer knocks down a three, and he's such a tough matchup. Him and Lawrence have gone at it a lot over the past well, three of the past four years as, as uh, Reefer missed a year there, but the number 22's playing power forward. Look out for that matchup in this one. Kanzamata backing in. He's going to draw the foul, and he'll, Richie will be on the line for two. Really good start to this one for the Tigers. They've been pushing it up and down the court. And really fast pace, not something we're always used to seeing from this Tigers team. I mentioned they're top 10 in the country in defense, uh, allowing under 71 points against per game. And that's by far the lowest mm -hmm. amount in a very high-scoring AUS conference. 
this new Huskies team, meanwhile, they're top 10 in the country in offense and average 86 points per game. So something's got to give in this one between these two crosstown rivals. I know the last time I saw is Eileen pull it up and he's going to knock down another Jimmy. The last time I saw these Tigers play here at the Dowplex, they were able to hold the UMB Varsity Reds under 70 points twice in back-to-back -back games. And UMB is such a tough team. They actually just beat CBU, dropped 99 on the Capers as the Capers continue to look for their first win of the season. And, and that clinched the first round bye for the UMB Varsity Reds. The Dow Tigers would clinch their first round bye with a win tonight. A number of chances there for the Tigers. Unable to come up with the putback, and the Huskies back the other way. That's going to be a foul or a kickball called there on the Tigers, so it'll be Huskies ball on the inbound. And here comes the super sub Jordan Akinu Serju, last year's AUS Rookie of the Year, out of Dawson College, and Akinu Serju averages better than eight points per game coming off the bench. He's been a key addition in the past couple years for Coach Plato. Clayton for three, that one's not going to go rebound by Stamberger, and yeah, you mentioned Aquino Sergio, and he's really been able to come up with some clutch shots over his Tigers career, specifically in that AUS final last year against UPEI. Cash across for Kanzamata, the five-year teammates, and Richie's going to knock it down. Well, he might not be wearing the red shoes, but he's wearing Steph Curry's and looking like Steph Curry tonight. Three for three from beyond the arc to kick off this one. And Richie Kanzamata, nine points and one assist, and we're just halfway through the first quarter. And if we were playing old school NBA jam, then Kanzamata just lit the mesh on fire. Cash almost coming away with the steal. Eileen tracks it down, gets the shot off. But that's a tough shot as the clock was running out. It'll be a shot clock violation on the Huskies and Tigers ball. Great team defense there by the Tigers. That's when they really toughen up in that half-court set and force a really difficult heave for a lane that time. And just to, con to continue on Kanzamata and his strong start, he loves this matchup against Marquis Clayton. They've played against each other for five years. They've played a lot of games against each other. And... They're friendly off the court, but on the court, there's no love loss between these two fifth-year point guards. Absolutely. I think you can say that about a lot of the guys on the court here right now. Uh, seven to shoot here for Kansamata. Comes out for Sandberger. Cash puts up a three. Almost gets it to go. As Cash has started taking a few more of those down the stretch here in his fifth year, and he's been able to show that he does have a bit of that range. Still not his shot, though. No, they'd, they'd rather him work inside. And it's a pretty take there from Reefer. Reefer. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's a great take by Reefer. He's such a tough matchup for anyone. A true six foot six with guard skills, really comfortable putting the ball down on the court and creating his own shot. And him and Lawrence are going to continue to go at each other. But look at how open they leave Cash on the outside. And Cash goes to the right hand, doesn't get it to go, but gets his own rebound and puts it back. That's what Cash does so well. Yeah, that's vintage Cash Lawrence right there. Only listed at six foot two, but he's the biggest, toughest six foot two you'll ever see, as he loves to work down, down in the paint and use his strength to push guys around. Eileen for three, not going to go. Board by Stroud. Got three twenty left to go here in the first quarter. It's six point lead here for the Tigers. Kino Sergio kick for Stroud over for Cash. Baseline drive cut off by Reefer. Great defense there from Reefer. Kino Sergio comes in and he's going to knock down the baseline, Jay. And that's what he can do. He doesn't need the ball for very long to fill it up. As we see a little bit of uh, chippiness here between Akinu Sergio and Reefer coming up the other end. And Akinu Sergio's whistle on the foul. But yeah, Jordan Akinu Sergio just touches the ball for a split second. That's all he needs to take that high rising mid range jump.